Goedenavond, Philadelphia. That's Dutch for good evening. Um, Esther and me, she's there. We love maps and landscapes and uh, moving things. So GPS is for us, what is a brush for a painter? This is a map of human activity in Amsterdam and it's made in 2002, no smartphone by then. And this is one of the more elaborate tracks. It's a pigeon for, what does it say? <laughs> GPS tracks were pretty new back then and we were very amazed that people really like to look at their own tracks as if it were kind of GPS selfies, self-portraits of movement. And they were able to talk about many of their personal experience of that route, only on the basis of this abstract animated line, a very personal and an Im intimate image, in fact. And we noticed that the combination of sound and animated tracks gave audience a feel of having watched a movie. So kind of obsessed with this idea of mobility intimacy, we wanted more. We wanted to see how people who are dependent on mobility, like the nomadic herders in Nigeria here, would respond to their own tracks. So for that purpose, we developed a little robot GPS card. Yes, it's coming. Almost. 50 seconds is so long. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> we have developed this card. There's a bottle of sand in the middle. Uh, the plastic bottle is filled with sand and leaves a trail while the card moves around. So you get a GPS track. And again, the tracks appear to be a trigger for personal stories. And we kept their, the movements again uh, on here to make still images, like every artist tries to make movement into still images. Um, as an impression of personal m mobility. So traces depicting people's travels. And then there was Google Earth, a representation of the Earth, a virtual public space. And if GPS is a brush, Google Earth is for us a canvas. So we started experimenting with our GPS tracks in this virtual world. We attached GPS recorders to helium balloons and let those float over a lake in Scotland. This was a really soaking performance, by the way. <laughs> we were there for four hours. And but we had an audience of 50, also in the rain. We took the GPS data and made a film in Google Earth. And that film lasted, it was real time, and it lasted five hours, showing this growing sculpture of movement. And it learned us that making movies in Google Earth and also in Street View could really add to this feeling, this intimate feeling of moving around through the landscape. It looks so real and intimate because it feels familiar, you recognize it, we can easily travel through it, but in fact it's no more than a bunch of photos. So we thought, what if we re record sound and GPS simultaneously and make this into a Google Earth film? How surreal and intimate, intimate would that be? So we gave ears to all kinds of moving things including people, and I really have to thank the people that work with us uh, because they had to go into the streets with a microphone and talk to themselves all the time. <laughs> and in this project, we, you will follow daily life in the city, play, thank you. <laughs> Two examples. I'm off. I am heading north under the hill. Passing this little deli. Shopping Plaza, churches, chickens, a lot of car lots, used car lots, buy here, pay here kind of places, everybody's approved kind of places. Friendliest place towards bicycles. Ah. Good morning. Good morning. New is me, huh? Oh, yeah. I'll be waiting for you every morning. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. All right, have a have good a weekend. Day. You too. Okay. All right. was the mailman's bag recorded. You can watch the whole trailer, it's a little bit more exciting even, uh, on the project website and we invite you all 
on the next slide, to the presentation of the project in November 23rd at the Apple Storage Building, 52nd and Willows Avenue, where the danger zone starts, which is not true. Thank you very much.